Hey folks, how's it going? Since I've hit level 50, I promised myself I would try a little bit harder clearing these weapon trial stages, trying and get as many legendary weapons as possible, because I think going forward, the uncapped for these are going to start becoming really important. So it took me a little bit, I had to level up and fix up a couple of units, but I finally managed to get my stage 10 clear on the weapon trial 3. So let's go over the characters that made this possible and then check out the run. So first, Gloria, double-sided halberd, even though she's not really dealing AoE damage, 5% physical attack and the levels alone are more than enough. Fancy hat, 3% extra magic defense, it helps a little bit, but sadly I don't have the mats to bring these up. Then we have the Devil Tarots. These go basically on everyone. <laughs> But for her, it's the one with the second stack in here, so the stacks go up a little bit faster. Skills-wise, I don't think the defense matters all that much. What you really want from her is the Brilliance. You need to cast the damage reduction on phase 3 and on phase 6 in order to reduce the AoE damage from the boss as much as possible. Next, we have Cole. Void stabs, still unleveled, again, no mats to do so. Every cloak doesn't really come into play all that often, but I don't really have anything else to put on her. And of course, another Temptation of the Devil. For her though, no extra skill, just some extra HP. I do not want her to get hit, I do not want her to get, accidentally, too much magic defense that's going to cause the boss to target her. Uh, Skills-wise, it's just Critical Strike, Footwork, Flurry, the leader skill, both for her and the other assassin, and Omen of Death. Uh, since some people run ambush in here, I don't think the extra damage is going to be needed. It only affects the little summons, and she one-shots stuff anyway. With this, she also self-heals, so she doesn't have to go back near the healer to get topped off. The other assassin is going to be Crimson Falcon. I still can't believe this is a free unit. Uh, her. She stole the weapon from Mepha, don't really have anything else leveled up, and I don't really like the beheaded machete anyway. True lands, just because I don't really know what else to put on her, it increases the physical attack a little bit, even though the crit rate from the Highland doesn't really come into effect all that often. And then, another devil. For her too, sadly I don't have anything else without a magic defense. It's either this or get more stacks. So, sadly she takes a couple of hits, but thankfully with the newborn blade, she manages to survive those. Uh, Skills-wise, just damage. All damage. Again, her main role is going to be to run around and take down as many of the summons as possible. Uh, maybe switch Vital Guard with Fleeting Hair, even though she doesn't really take all that much damage, so doesn't really matter. Next, we got Angel, who should be our tank with the highest possible magic defense. Uh, Reorganized Cube, I've been fine with this. I'm keeping two just for her and Samantha. Again, fancy hat stolen off of Samantha for the extra magic defense. And lastly, Temptation of the Devil. Magic defense and double devil stacks. So her magic defense is going to go higher, faster, compared to the other units on field. Ideally, she should be the one tanking most of the single target attacks, but practically, that's not gonna happen. There's a couple of discrepancies here and there that we'll go explore later. The fifth and last unit is going to be our support, the Outlaw Guard, which again, I don't know how this is this good. Police Guard is Intimidate with a level 2 physical and magical attack down, as well as a defense down, but this is all he needs to be good, honest. Uh, the trait where he blocks doesn't really come into effect, and Rage only comes into effect after turn 3 when he takes damage from the massive AoE. Weapons wise, Fist Tags, stolen straight off of Rewia's hands, Fancy Hat, again, stolen straight off of Rewia, and the Tarot, Judgment. Some extra magic defense, but the most important part in here is the double debuff, because the boss gets a stacky mechanic that can be dispelled, as well as Judgment for yet another 10% damage increase. More than a tank, this is just a debuffing support, but he's so damn good. And the level 50 is completely warranted. When it comes to the tactics, urgent order, very useful to give the turn to the healer so that she can full heal people before they take damage. March command, useful to run around the field to go and pick off the little summons. 
as well as the Flag of Combalaria. I think I need to level this one up still, but it gives yet another 10% defense bonus as well as a little bit of energy that helps a lot with extra healing and survivability. As for the run itself, uh, of course we start with the automatic skill cast. Now, the Magician summons these floating rocks around the field. If there's less than six, it summons one. Whenever one is defeated, he takes a little bit of damage and gets the Sacrifice Ritual buff, which increases his magic attack, which is really important that you bring a Judgment Tarot in here, as well as the usual Advanced Immunity, which reduces the damage over time and makes it immune to Control, Teleport, Knockback and Interruption. Uh, attacks, I don't think we'll see that many, because mostly he goes through a skill rotation down here. And this is another reason why you want to clear the field as much as possible. Because 15% damage decrease for every living floating rock is not something you want to deal with. When it comes to the rotation, mostly looks like he's going from skill 1 to 2 to 3. So he's going to start with this skill that targets the character with the highest magic defense, or close to the highest magic defense, because you'll see. Second skill, Cohesion, gives himself a shield that you want to break as soon as possible, otherwise it explodes and deals a crap ton of damage, extra damage, to all your units. And lastly, Apocalypse. This one hurts. This one hurts a lot. And this one is the reason why I want to run uh, extra magic defense on Angel, as well as save the 20% damage reduction from Longinus Brilliance. So, during the course of the fight, there's going to be a crap ton of these Calamity spawns. They don't really do much, they only have some resistance to ranged damage, but you want to clear these as often and as fast as possible. So we will start doing just that. <laughs> That's the first skill on the healer. And you see that maybe some extra HP on Angel might have been very beneficial, because she's below 4k and she's only alive for 50 health. Now granted, this damage I've seen fluctuating, I've seen it be as low as 2.8k, but yeah, this is just a little bit of RNG in the run. Uh, next, we're just going to stack up over the middle. Of course, heal up, try and keep our health topped off as much as possible. Sadly, he didn't trigger the defense down, but there's always time for that. And this is the first what the hell moment. She's got 8039 magic defense. She's got 8041. So I get the feeling that the game thinks 8039 is higher than 8041, which is a little bit weird. I thought computers were supposed to be good at math. I guess I also cannot complain. I uh, probably would have one shot Angel. So yeah, Crimson Falcon just saved her life. So of course, next order of the day is going to be to just mm. kill as many of these summons as possible. Since the next action the boss is going to take is getting his shield up, it doesn't really matter if we run around with very low HP. We teleport, always nice to see. And now we get to deal some free damage. There's the shield phase. Again, clear these as fast as possible. And now we take care of that shield. So once this phase is out, uh, he's going to make the shield explode. If there's no shield, he's only going to deal some AoE damage, which is honestly fairly little. There we go. 2k damage. More summons. And all we need to do now is heal back up and prepare for the huge nuke. Now, the nuke should not be reaching this tile, so these are the only characters who are going to take damage. Here's our flag going up for the extra defense. Here's our brilliance going up for the 20% damage reduction. 
Nada. And Why this is how much I... damage they still deal. It's honestly kind of crazy. Again, more summons, we don't really care. Now we just need to top off again, because the next attack is going to be yet another single target strike. Single target strike. That 1039, 1111 quads, check them. But it's still going to go here. She already has the magic defense up buff too, and she's far away from the extra 30% that she brings, but she's still going to get targeted next. Hey, can someone explain this to me? <laughs> He's supposed to target the character with the highest magic defense. She has the highest magic defense. It still goes on Crimson Falcon. Ah, well, she's still alive. Again, Meta Sword is absolutely saving her skin. So we can continue clearing the little summons and again, prepare for the next shield phase. Urgent order for yet another heal. As well as the energy too. Okay, there's the shield gun, and there's how little damage it deals. So, just like before, the next one is going to be the big AoE. But with yet another command order, we can heal everyone back to top. Get our flag back up too. And get our damage reduction up. Honestly, kind of thankful that this boss has a bit of a set rotation. So you know what's coming, you know what to prepare for. And now it finally works. It finally targets the character with the highest magic defense. Now, maybe that's a bit of a gripe that I've got with this thing, but... I guess the run went still fine, so I cannot complain. Yet another shield, and this is going to be the last shield phase. Uh, again, order this time on call to break the shield faster. Because one thing I absolutely do not want this boss to do is go through yet another AoE nuke. And that's the kill shot. Again, maybe a little bit scuffed. Uh, I was not expecting Crimson Falcon to take all that damage, but I guess a clear is a clear. And with that, I guess that's also going to be it for me for the moment. As always, thanks a lot for watching, hopefully this is going to help you out with your own clears as well, 
and see you guys around soon. Ciao. Oh